Karen from the Centerville Regional Library. And I'm here to tell you about an eight-year-old girl named Katya who loves animals and wants to be a veterinarian when she's older. But for now, she lives with her mom who runs a bookstore and she lives with her father and her adorable dachshund named Ollie. But you know what? Katya and her family want to help even more animals. And how they do that is by fostering animals. You see, sometimes animals who go to the shelters need a break from their cages and they just need somebody to help them feel comfortable and adapt before they're adopted by their forever families. So Katya and her family decide to foster and their very first foster animal is a dog named Truman. So, and Truman, the dog, is full of tricks and trouble. But thankfully, he's also very lovable and gets along with Katya, her family, and their dog, Ollie. And one thing that Katya learns is that every single animal has their own personalities and they just need a little bit of help bringing them out and to find the just right family for them. So Truman the dog is the first of a series called My Furry Foster Family by Debbie Machico Florence, illustrated by Melanie Demmer, and it is published by Picture, Book, Picture Window Books which is an imprint of Capstone. Again, this is the first of a series, and you never know what other types of animals will show up. Maybe Katya will take care of a cat next, or maybe a bearded dragon, which is a type of lizard, is she does in Betty the Bearded Dragon. And who knows, maybe some Adorable hamsters will show up too. For you see, it's not just cats and dogs who need foster families. It's all types of animals. And if you too like animals and are interested in fostering, be sure to check out the local animal rescues in our, na in our neighborhood or even a nearby shelter to just volunteer and help out. It means a lot to these animals looking for their forever homes. So, My Furry Foster Family by Debbie Machico Florence, illustrated by Melanie Demmer. And I would say these books are great for an advanced first grader, a solid second grade reader, and a reluctant reader third grade may, third grader may enjoy these too, just because they're fun. So, happy reading!